It's finally time for a full craft room reveal. My dream craft room has been almost 15 years in the making. And when I started my craft room makeover, I had no idea what I was getting myself into. But before I share my new space, I think it's important to show you just how far it's come. So we're going to rewind and take a glance at some of my old crafty spaces. In the top left photo, I'm taking you back all the way to 2008. That was the size of my desk when I first found this hobby. We lived in a small apartment and it sat next to our bed. Over the years, we moved a few times and I picked up new furniture. In 2012, we moved from San Diego to Nevada and started renting a house. This is where my husband and I shared an extra bedroom. He used it as his work from home office and I had my crafty space in it. In 2016, I moved my crafty space into a den area in the home. And in 2017, I finally got my dream desk. But it wasn't until 2018 when we bought our first home when I got my very own craft room. And that brings us to right before my craft room makeover. We moved into this house November of 2018 and this is pretty much how my room was set up from the beginning. I didn't really change much over the years, but as time went on, I knew something needed to change because these shelves held a lot of stuff I wasn't using anymore. And at the time of this video, my craft room also served as my kids' homeschool room for about a year and a half. My Calyx unit wasn't organized to its full potential. There was stuff shoved everywhere. It was just a hot mess. I knew I couldn't just rearrange some things and call it a day because I had an overwhelming amount of supplies I wasn't using anymore. So I started purging and I purged a lot. I got rid of two 27 gallon bins of stuff. I had to have an honest conversation about what I haven't used and most likely won't use in the future. I've realized over the years that having too much stuff that I don't use just makes me feel overwhelmed when I sit down to create. And my craft room should be my happy place, not somewhere that I feel stressed. So I physically touched everything in my craft room to decide if I was going to keep it or purge it. I went through my stamps, dyes, sprays, you name it, I went through it. Now that the purging was done, we did some rearranging of furniture in our house, some painting, and yes, it's just another shade of gray, but I absolutely love gray. Now at this point, I was over it. I almost didn't finish. I was having one of the worst RA flare-ups I've ever had. The kids were home for the summer and I just didn't want to do anything anymore. But I'm so glad that I stuck with it because it led to this. Here is the reveal of my dream craft room. Now it's not my dream craft room because it's the largest, most organized, color-coded, magazine-ready room you've ever seen, but because it's my very own space and everything in it brings me joy. My desk stayed where it was before. I love having the natural light from the window. I moved the shelves that held my sprays and put up a pegboard. I moved my Calyx unit to the other wall so that I can have another small desk attached to it. I like to use the desk for die cutting. This area is my favorite part of my craft room. All of my yummy distress products in one place. I added this 1x4 Calyx unit for more storage and panning over to the other wall, I have a couple more new furniture pieces. Both came from Ikea and I will link them below along with all of my favorite craft room organization products. This new piece of furniture is probably my favorite addition to my craft room. I added some wallpaper to the doors of this piece just to give my room a little more character. I wanted my room to immediately spark joy and inspiration when I walked in, so I added some decorations around the room that did just that. I even used my supplies as decorations if it inspired me. This pegboard I got from Ikea really helps balance functional and inspirational. I have some tools on here as well as some fun pops of color. I even have a couple of my favorite tags that I've created. I had to stay true to my nerdy self and add my love of Star Wars, Marvel, Disney, and so many other things in here. I added some greenery in the form of fake plants because I have the opposite of a green thumb, so fake plants for the win. My creative process has changed so much over the years. Before, it was organized chaos mainly because I kept things around that I swore I would use one day. So I would sometimes spend hours looking for the perfect embellishment or dig through a bin of sprays. Now my room is still a work in progress, but having my most used supplies out so I can see them while being organized is just so satisfying. Most of this video was filmed back in June of 2022. And although I'm not sharing in detail what is organized where, but I hope if you take anything away from this video, it's even if you craft on your dining room table or if you have a thousand square foot room, it's always important to keep it your happy place. And that definitely looks different for everybody. So if you're watching this video and thinking, where do I even start? I have a short playlist where I share my top tips to help you get organized, tackle those piles of stuff and get your craft room back to your happy place. Check it out.